Great evening, everybody. Great okay. evening. We want you to take a few moments tonight and go and share and like and uh, tell everybody, hey, we're on and we're ready. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday night. And um, as we are in the midst of making some things happen here, getting the church ready um, for the next couple of weeks, uh, a few visitors to come and uh, some members to come and share with us. So I do apologize for the time and uh, that you would normally see us uh, 30 minutes ago, but we're making some things happen here in the sanctuary and uh, under the little construction as we prepare uh, now, not only for a uh, homegoing service on this week, but as we prepare to, to put some things in place so you'll feel safe. Lady Faith, come on, greet everybody tonight. Great evening, great evening. So happy to be um, back with you all again yes. tonight on this absolutely beautiful, hot July day. Y'all know I love summertime, and that, this is all wonderful for me. You have to stay hydrated, though, because it will wear you out. But I am grateful. I'm blessed to be back uh, in the house of God once again with my bishop, my husband, yes. uh, sharing the word of God with you all. And as you are coming on, I'm ask, I would like to ask you to go ahead and share and uh, send some uh, hello first. Hello, Bishop. Uh, how are you all? Just put some comments in there. Let us know that you're there, you're watching. Um, and if you're having dinner right now, just eat your dinner while you have us on the screen. And, and every blue moon, go ahead and tap some hearts and, That's and right. say amen. And so we are grateful uh, to be back with you all again on tonight. And we just trust God to do some amazing, amazing things, as he always does. He always does everything well. And, you know, last, last week, Lady Faye, we were talking about, um, and if you could just take a few moments to bring this up from last week, because we're in this breakthrough season, um, we had to get rid of some negative people. Yeah, yeah. You know, last week was very powerful because many of us that are watching this, and I, I guess I really should say all of us that are watching this, whether you are having to uh, purge some people out of your life now, right. or if um, the time will come, but at some point, whether it's, people, whether it's activities, whether it's, you know, whatever you've involved in that's negative, mm -hmm. sometimes you just have to do the, the, do the hard no and just let people who do, who absolutely mean you no good, you have to go ahead and just let them go. And, and you know, we talked about, uh, we talked again about uh, dealing with negative people and sometimes it's uh, people that's within our homes. Right. And we talked about how it's so imperative that you have that conversation, that you have, that you set those boundaries. And if it's at a space where it's just absolutely out of control, go and get some counseling, go get some help. So it's imperative. I, I am at a space in my life, thank you, Jesus, that I am okay with distancing myself. That's right. Not just because of COVID, but distancing myself <laughs> and loving people from a distance when they practice negative behavior when it's just a part of their it when it's just a part of who they enjoy being right, it, right. When, when it's just a part of who they just like to be and so if that's what you like i don't subscribe to it so listen you go you do you and be great and i'm going to love you from a distance and we're going to see jesus when he comes together but at, at, while we're here on earth <laughs> you, you go do what that's you right. do and um, so praise the lord <laughs> Well, look, tonight is so imperative that you now go ahead and share, make comments, and, and start your watch party. I'm going to challenge several of you to start a watch party tonight because we're not only going to talk about breakthrough, but we're entitling this tonight the breakthrough season. Mm -hmm. And because of the season that you're currently in, no one operates in the same season. Lady Faye and I are married and we love each other, but we have our own individual seasons. Absolutely. And, and that is a good conversation for us to have tonight. And I want you to put in the comments section, Lord, allow me to identify my season. Mm -hmm. Because in everything that you go through, it is not by accident. Mm -hmm. It is a test. It is something that you've got to learn, even asking God to send the breakthrough. God, send the breakthrough. Well, in the breakthrough, he's got to teach you some things. Yeah. You've got to grow. You've got to know where your faith is at. 
So, Lady Faith, um, as we start this conversation tonight, and those of you that are joining in, I want to commend you very quickly to join in and make some notes tonight because I believe this is very timely. I believe this is going to not only uh, benefit you, but I want you to have some nuggets, some, some, some valuable things that you need over the next 20 some days that as we're now moving from um, breakthrough into restoration, I'll be able to identify what Bishop had to say or what Lady Faye had to say, and it's going to trigger something. Well, the first thing that we've got to turn to tonight, and I want you to make a note of this. Well, can mm -hmm. I, Go can ahead. I say this first, Bishop, though? Uh, before we jump into that, and again, we're talking about breakthrough. We're talking about the season that we are in in our lives. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I want to encourage each and every person that is watching this live on tonight, and you can share this with someone else, but when you are in the midst of a life-changing season in your life, I want to encourage you, and I had to learn this, is to embrace it. That's right. Because obviously... God is allowing you to go through this season for a greater reason, for a greater cause, for a tremendous blessing. And one of the things I wanted to say is that uh, I, I'm, I'm encouraging every person to embrace it, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to just love it. Because mm -hmm. when we go through spaces in our lives that are so complicated, they are so hard, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's, oh, it's just, it's just crazy. You don't have to love it, but just embrace it. You have to almost come to a space where you're just saying, you know what, God, amen. <laughs> Which means let it be. Because, Father, obviously, this is something that you have purpose. The Bible says that the, that the or that uh, the order. The, good, um, the steps of a man are ordered by the Lord. <laughs> yes. See how she just. <laughs> you see, I'm struggling. You're supposed to help me out. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And so what I'm saying here is that when you embrace that, you don't have to necessarily love it, but you're saying, God, I trust you. You order my steps and I trust where you lead me to go. And so when we are in that space, you are just simply saying, I trust you. I'm stuck in a rock in a hard place in this hard season, but I just simply So as we move into number one, tonight for this conversation and I believe this is a very timely conversation yeah. number one that you want to make a note is your season may turn into a time of growth and I want to, in, uh, to encourage all of you to listen clearly mm -hmm. when you're coming through a breakthrough that you're in this end, you got to use it as an opportunity as a time of growth yes. growth sometimes becomes frustrating mm -hmm. frustration because when I'm growing, uh, they, I'm, in, I'm in seasons of change. Mm -hmm. um, when I plant a seed, it might not look like it's doing anything underground. But underground, there's a process. Mm -hmm. And so for some of you, you've had to endure a breakthrough. And in this breakthrough, now you have entered into a season where you can't be seen, people can't see you. But on the inside, God is doing something far greater for what he's about to show to everyone else. Yeah. And I'm excited tonight because for many of you, you are now blossoming. You are now coming out of the ground. The earth has had to move because of the glory that you possess and the things that you're currently in right now. So I want to just start that conversation, Lady Faye, if you want to add to that, because the more I go through, the deeper I have to know that my roots and my foundation is secure. Yeah. So when we are in a space of a season, a life-changing season, a season that, that, that again, uh, not necessarily comfortable, but it's a season that it puts us in a space where we're just kind of like, we just don't know. It's a space, it's an opportunity that allows you to grow, allows you to grow in so many different areas and not just uh, your faith in God, but grow as a person, as a human being, learning about yourself, Learning the good, the bad, the ugly, the, the this, the that. It's a space where it allows you to expand. It's a space where it allows you to grow. And you're able to not only receive those things for yourself, but later on, you'll be able to share your growth experience with someone totally different. That's right. That's right. Uh, Lady Faye, you want to talk about their, their root system. Yeah. It's important that we understand that even in the midst of our uh, 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 embracing our season in life 
as we're going through this breakthrough season, as we're going through a season where it's not comfortable, we have to embrace it because what it allows us to do is to develop a deeper root system with our faith. If you look at um, a seed, if you look at a, a plant when it grows, if, if you can probably even look at the trees that are, that are either in your front yard, your backyard, or just passing, you see just the tree, but what you don't see is what's below the ground. And those roots travel. They go deep. That's right. They go deep. They That's go right. deep. And I've even heard stories of people whose plumbing has been interrupted, whose people's water lines have been interrupted because of the strong and the strength of the, of the roots from those trees. And so when you are in the midst of a life challenge, when you are in the midst of a situation that causes you to be in a space where you're having to break through those life challenges, it's also a time where you're able to develop a stronger root system. So how is that? And listen, let me just say this. I'm not saying this because I have nothing else to give. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not saying this because I have gone through the Bible and I have given you all the nuggets and there's nothing else. No, I'm telling you, this is what works. This this is fail proof. This is what you can rely on. And I, I said this to Bishop before that it tickles me when I hear of people who are going through challenges and when we have conversations with them and they don't talk about God, they don't talk about prayer, they don't talk about reading their word, they don't talk about, they, they talk about everything else. They totally run away from God and that's the wrong time to distance yourself from him. When you are in a season where you are in a challenging season, a hard space, that's the time that you buckle down even the more to develop that root system. So how do you develop that root system? You really just need to pray and read your word. That's it. Because those two ingredients That's is right. what fortifies it. And so it will fortify to the point where when the next season comes, you'll, all, you'll be like that tree who has those deep roots. And they run very, very deep. My and so God. when that wind blows again, just the leaves will move, but the tree will still be standing. Uh, that when, the, that? when that wind blows again, your leaves will move, your branches will move, but that tree will still, will still be standing. When that next uh, snowstorm comes, it may cover, but the, but the tree will still be standing. When that next windstorm or rainstorm comes, when life happens, you'll still be able to stand. The other day, in fact, Sunday, Bishop and I, we had came home, we had lunch, and um, I needed to go back out. And so we were, uh, I was waiting for him to come, and I was standing outside on my deck. And I began to just observe this one particular tree that was in my backyard. I have, I, I love trees. I love trees. I love to see the different forms and different types. And so I was, I, was, I was observing this one particular tree that was in our backyard, and I noticed that the top of the tree was very full and very alive yes. and it was covered in leaves and it had multiple branches that went in all different directions. And then it came down where the trunk of the tree had was, was very wide. And I began to think, I said, God, it must take a mighty strong root system to hold the mass of that tree. It's humongous. And I, I was thinking to myself, the roots in that tree must run deep and they must be strong. And so people of God on tonight, I want to encourage you to get your root system get deep and strong. Deep and strong. Deep and strong. Yes. So first, how do I get my, to my, my root system to be deep, deep and strong? Simply by praying and having a conversation with the Father. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, grab your ice water, and have a conversation with Jesus. Have a conversation and talk to him. Let him know what your heart is saying. Yes, he knows, but you talk to him. Let him know what your heart is saying. Let him know what's on your mind, because I promise you, people of God, he's concerned about it. And when you are praying, go to your word and begin to research. I remember one time I was going through this situation and I began to research in the Bible every scripture that dealt with my situation. My, my, and my. you know what I do. I like to write stuff down. I like to post it up everywhere. I have it in my car. I have it on my refrigerator. I have it on my phone. I have it everywhere. So every time I turn around, the word is in front of me. And every time I turn around, I 
read the word and it makes my root system even stronger. So listen, listen, listen. When you are embracing life's challenges, you want to develop a strong root system. How do you do that? Stay connected to God in prayer and stay connected to God in your word. It amazes me that people that absolutely love God, live for God, but they won't pray and they won't read. And then they try to figure out why am I so weak? Why am I so easily swayed? Why am I so easily thrown off track? It's because you haven't fortified yourself in prayer and the word of God. So Lady Faye, in doing so, not only if we're talking about our seasons because this is our breakthrough time. Mm -hmm. And as she just began to uh, not only give us information about we need the word of God, we need to do those things because in doing so, then God will reveal himself mm -hmm. to us with plans. Mm -hmm. And so as we're going to move very quickly tonight for time, your season is preparing you for your next. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that you're praying and you understand that you've got to have your root system very deep, what is your next? Mm -hmm. Are you wasting your time? Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's, it's really critical now because in the midst of all of that we're being faced with, with COVID-19 and the numbers are skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. In the midst of how hot it is and different challenges and from our economic systems and those persons that are at home, those of our kids are going back to school, I want to challenge you tonight and that's why I really need you to encourage somebody and share this. You cannot keep this to yourself tonight because what is your next? What are you doing next? Not what is your pastor doing, not what is your first lady doing, not what your supervisor is doing. What are you doing next? Have you thought about your game plan? Mm -hmm. I was looking at um, a report today where a young lady who was not financially in one season, she was not wealthy, but now has become wealthy. She has created uh, these uh, the material that covers where you can go to her website and when you're in the grocery store, she's created an item for you to put on the buggy. African-American sister. Wow. And, I, and I said, look at that, where she was working in one season, hardly trying to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. But now God gave her strategic uh, 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 an anointing of creativity. And I want to release wow. that through the camera tonight. Get off your seat of do nothing. Get off your seat of complaining. Get off your seat of people trying to tell you, well, when am I going to get this and when am I going to get that? No, baby, you're the only one holding yourself back. Quit drinking, quit midnight rambling, quit gossiping and lying and cheating. Do what you've got to do, and that's being creative. And that is my prayer tonight, that you will be creative. Use your creative goods in this hour, because let me tell you something. There are people who are ready to underwrite you. Because she was obedient, now there are persons who are wanting to underwrite her business so they can get a piece of the chip. And I want to tell you tonight, Lady Faith, that's why I get so excited, because when you talk about your next, it ain't by accident we had to go through this. Mm -hmm. It's not by accident the world had to stop what it was doing. So God could then tell the church, this is what you need to be doing, church. This is what you need to be moving forward to. Because some of us have been stuck. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's so easy to be stuck, yeah. sitting on the couch, waiting for another day to go by. Oh, <laughs> another day is going by. But now in your season, out of, you're coming out of breakthrough. You've got to identify what is my next. My next is to paint. My next is to be creative. My next is to lose weight. My next is I'm going to finish the book. My next, I'm going back to school. And enjoy your next because it's only through your travail. It is only through your hard times that God can minister to you and tell you next. Absolutely. Can I just need somebody right there in the comment section to put next, next. Yes. God, I'm ready for my next. Yes. God, I want my next. Yes. And just don't put it down there, but you got to believe it. you got to declare it. And Lady Faith, God knows you got to want it. Yes, absolutely. And you know, another thing that we want to share with you all tonight is that when you are in the midst of life challenge, when you are in the midst of embracing your life, yes. and we can give it so many different labels, but in breaking through all those things, but your next season may actually surprise you. Ooh, wow. Your next season may actually surprise you. And oftentimes, and I was guilty, Father forgive me. <laughs> well, the old season, you grumbling, you complaining, you got something to say about mm -hmm. this, something Stop. to say about mm -hmm. that. This is not working, that's not working. And so you're like, okay, now here we are. God, ha God has now thrust you. He has now allowed you to go into a brand new season, which could what? It could also present brand new opportunity, uh, be able to meet new people, 
being able to start a brand new career, mm -hmm. being able to uh, do something brand new that you always dream mm -hmm. and desire to do. Mm -hmm. So transparent moment, I was with the city government for 20 years. And at the latter part of the 20 years, I was thinking to the Lord, I was like, God, thank you so much. I know that something different is going to come. I know something new is going to come because I have been here, done that, and I'm grateful for it. Don't get me wrong. I'm grateful for it, but I'm ready for something new. And as the Lord began to order my steps and prepare me, then I was able to then transition out of the city after being there for 20 years. Right. I was able to transition out and start a brand new career on my own business, being able to work um, uh, more um, at the church, doing what I had to do here, and just being able to do absolutely more things that I always dreamed, always desired, I always would just kind of say, oh, if I only had time to do A, B, C, and D, and now the Lord has afforded me the opportunity to do that. So even when you're in the midst of transition, in the midst of going through life changes, sometimes God will allow your new seasons to surprise you. And when wow. he does, go ahead and embrace that new season. Go ahead and just uh, 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 thank the Lord for it, for allowing you to go through. Thank the Lord for allowing you to go through all of the mm -hmm. ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord for allowing you to, make, to, to, to learn from your experiences so that when you are pushed over into your new season, you're able to appreciate it even the more. And so I'm grateful to the Lord for today. I'm grateful to God for allowing, and I'm just using myself for an right, example. Right, Many of you right. all that are listening to me that will watch this later, you will begin to think about the new season, the season that God has mm -hmm. allowed you to move into. And you'll just be saying, you know what, God, I just want to say thank you. Right. Thank you for right. the old season. Thank you for the lessons that I learned. Thank you for even the hard times in those uh, in the old season. Because now I'm able to embrace new relationship, a new path, a new direction, new opportunities, meeting brand new people. And so for that, we are com I, I am completely grateful. Amen. And so Lady Faye, tonight as uh, others are still jumping on very quickly um, or re-jumping on with us is that we've got to understand that there are new opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There are so many new opportunities. Mm -hmm. And in these opportunities, as you just stated tonight, that you're going to be totally surprised. Yeah. When you step and do what God has called you to do, you are going to not only see the hand of God, but you're going to say, Woo, can you believe that? Look what God did. <laughs> Look what God did for me. Yes. And that is the blessing tonight. So let us move quickly mm -hmm. as we're talking about being surprised. Then the other thing we want to talk about tonight, your season may give you front row seats. Ooh, now that's a good one. Your season may give you front row seats. Yes. yes just yes, going to yes. just take a few moments there tonight as your season is coming along and as you're growing and others of you now are, ju are jumping back in on us with a few tip, uh, difficulties. But let me just tell you this, as you began to move in the things of God, you're going to see your season. Mm -hmm. You're going to see it like never before. Mm -hmm. You're going to jump in a new place. And God is going to grant you front row seats that you've never experienced. Mm -hmm. He's going to give you that opportunity. And that's, Lady Faye, what I'm really happy about tonight. Because it talks about here, when you're talking about God's grace mm -hmm. and in your imperfections and in your shortcomings, mm -hmm. God says, nah, I got you covered. Mm -hmm. I, you, you're going to be all right. Don't, don't you worry. Don't you fret. Mm -hmm. Because in this new place that God has you, it's going to give you the opportunities that you need to make it happen. Absolutely. Lady Faye, you want to add to that at all? Absolutely. I guess one of the things I just want to just um, want to just share is that it's so important that we allow God just to be God. <laughs> right. You know, just allow him to do what he desires, even when you're like, God, mm -hmm. I don't know. Even when you're like, oh, Father, really? Right. Just let him be God. Because he already knows the beginning from the end or the end from the beginning, which way it goes. He already he knows. knows that. So it's, oh, you know, just allow him Sometimes, you know, sit back, relax yourself, and let him be God. 
That's it. Let, Let him, him be, be God. God. Yeah. And that's one of the great news tonight that we will come back and even tomorrow, Lady Faith, yes. I know you will be on um you'll be able to pick this up on even on your your show tomorrow is that in all of these distractions and all these things that we've got to know our seasons. Absolutely. And in this season, we're going to obey God, we're going to trust God, and we're going to do what God has called us to do. Yes. Well, tonight we're going to give you one more. We're going to prepare to leave out. Okay. All right. So the last thing we want to share with you all tonight is that you must understand that your season may have something to teach you and not only you, but for someone else. Somebody else. The season that you are embracing, that you don't have to necessarily love, the season that the Lord has ordered your steps to go through, the season of challenge, the season of new, the season of breakthrough, right, right. that it is an opportunity for you to learn and not only for you, but it'll be a blessing to someone else. I want to share something really uh, quick with you that as I was going through the season, and many of you all know this story, miscarriages, I know you, I, I know, but I was able to minister to other women who had gone through the same situation because some of, so, you know, everybody deals with things differently. So I was able to minister to them and say, listen, I know what you feel like. I know how that feels. Right. And so, although that was a complicated season for me, I was able to use that. The Lord was able to use that to be a blessing to someone else to tell them it's going to be okay. And that if you are still desiring to have a baby, God can bless you with that. Because my baby girl is 14 years old and I am a strong witness that he can do exactly what your desires are and what he says. So tonight we want to encourage all of you. Thank you for your time tonight. Thank you for tuning in. This is not only your hour. This is not just the uh, by happenstance. There are a few things that you can be well assured mm -hmm. regarding your season, regarding what's happening, regarding that in this breakthrough hour, yes. I've got enough to know that he's concerned about me. Absolutely. I'm going to learn from it. I'm going to allow my root systems to grow. Mm -hmm. Not only am I going to do that, but he's going to surprise me in this next place mm -hmm. because what I had to go through really is what's pushed me now into my next. Oh, yeah. And then not only into my next, but this season, this season is going to bring me front row seats. Oh, yeah. It's something about front row seats. Let me tell you something. You got to pay big money for front row seats at games. Oh. But God's going to put you on the front row. He's going to allow men and women to sow into you. They're going to see the giftings. They're going to see your talents. They're going to see all that you have to offer. Yeah. And tonight, we not only want to offer this message of hope, but we want to also offer Jesus Christ to you Absolutely. because he's still the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He'll never leave you, nor will he forsake you. Absolutely. And that's the good news. That good news is that we have hope that we can rely on the name that is still above every name. Mm -hmm. So tonight, we pray for you. We pray that if you're not saved, whenever you hear this message, mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ will come into your life. Confess him, believe him. And know that he has written your name down in the book of life. Confess him. Believe that he died for your sins. But then begin to confess and thank him for getting up. He didn't stay there, but he got up with all power. I'm going to encourage you tonight. Make sure you sow. Make sure you give. This is a wonderful opportunity. It's such a fruitful place as we talk about the root system and as our tree trunks are going down. Because in this season, whatever season that you're in a breakthrough, you need to understand that's what's going to sustain you. My tithe and my offering. When I can't see nothing else, when I tithe, it moves the hand of God. My offering then says, you know what? Come on, I'll give you some benefits. Yeah. So you can do that. There are many ways you can give here at Greater Paradise. And we thank you for your seed. www.greaterparadise.org. You can go to GiveLify. Download that app. It's an easy way to give. And then you can go even on our cash shop, Greater Paradise uh, 2900. Yes. I believe that's what it is. And um, you got the sign, Greater Paradise 2900. You can do that. Lady Faye, it's been a blessing tonight. Yes, it has. And I'm so <laughs> glad that whenever you hear this again, that you will be reminded in this breakthrough hour that this is a season that God wants you to embrace. Mm -hmm. Identify it. Don't sit on your couch and do nothing. Be creative. Yeah. Go back into the word of God. Study to show yourself approved. And when you get through this, people should be able to say, you know what? I see why I was shouting the way I was shouting. Because oh, yes. God brought me out of this and now he's taking me into this. We want to also yeah, pray yeah. for the for the bereaved families. We pray for one of our members mm -hmm. whose son was tragically, tragically uh, in an accident and died the other day. And so we pray for that family. We pray for Pastor Bishop Mark Thomas there in Virginia. Wow, good friends of ours. Bishop Ted Thomas, who was on the general board, he passed last month. Mm -hmm. And on today, his wife passed. And our hearts are heavy, and we, we are filling you today uh, to, the, uh, to that family and to Gregory Dennis, mm -hmm. our good friends, Tanya Dennis, 
her mother, um, a woman of God, powerful psalmist there in New York. Uh, we'll be celebrating Sister uh, Mother e, uh, Supervisor Ruben Spain McClure, an awesome woman of God. And let you know, Tanya and Denton Gregory, we love all of you guys. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Remember, paradise is a place yes. where God, God lives. lives. We'll see you soon.